Now let's talk a little bit about 4D, 5D experience on this planet. Now I hope that all of you are living each moment being happier and happier. But let's talk a little bit about the differences and why people came. There are a lot of people that came for the 3D, 4D, 5D experience. And as I've told you, there is this uh, new game in town that is seeing if, if somebody can go from a 3D ex human existence to a 5D human existence in one lifetime. That's that's a, a new game. That's never been done before. This is one of the extreme uh, spiritual nuts people came up with this plan. So it's it's a pretty intense plan, but they do have their intense games, right? So there is that game that's come in. There are uh, many, many, many star seeds that have come in to help Gaia with this set up a scenario that will allow for the humans to do that game. And that's kind of what a lot of the star seeds have come for. Now, uh, a star seed comes, the ones that have helped with this, and there are star seeds that continue to have amnesia the whole entire time that they're here, which is fine. And basically what they've decided to do is they've come down to just set foot on the planet. And like I've said before, just by setting your foot on the planet at your higher vibrations, that helps the Gaia with this transition into 5D and doing it in such a way that the beings that want to try for the 3D through 4D to 5D game in one human lifetime can do that. So that's another reason the star seeds are here to try to help set up, or they did, they have, set up that scenario so that vibrationally there is enough range on this planet to allow somebody to do that in a lifetime. Okay, so... Every single person that's come to this planet knew that this is not a planet. This is not a, not even just a planet. This creation is not a creation that you come to, to have a, a great deal of fun. You don't stay, you don't come here, um, with, um, partial amnesia and have a great deal of fun here because this is a, a more difficult game. It, that was it was all set up this way on purpose because as you know where we came from is perfect in every way so the game was to see well what is it like to have an experience that's not perfect in every way and then it became well how much more imperfect can it be what kind of experiences can we have and add to the whole how can we interact with each other in this way to collect even more experiences that are different and apart from the perfection that we have in source and the other games that have been created that are what you would consider uh, more pleasant. Now, this is more the extreme sports, like I've said before. And let's put it back to the analogy of the extreme sports. You've got somebody that's cl climbing Mount Everest. Now, there is no one that I've ever heard of, not one time, who has wants to climb Mount Everest, have climbed Mount Everest, or has attempted to climb Mount Everest, whoever says, wow, this is going to be fun to do. The actual doing of the climbing of Mount Everest, I've never heard anybody say that that was fun. It is difficult and painful. A lot of people have died doing it. There's nobody forcing anybody to do it at all. They all know that this is going to be a struggle from the get-go. It's just a very difficult climb. Now, why do we do it? Well, they don't do it, and you don't see them doing videos where they're going, stepping up, step after step, going, wow, we're having a good time. This is great fun. No, they don't do that. It's tough. It's struggling. But when they get to the top, the experience of, of climbing that mountain, having accomplished such an incredibly difficult task and the excitement of, of there just being a handful of humans that have ever done it, that is why it's done. Okay, the same thing is true with living this dualistic uh, game, especially living as a human on Earth. It is not because it is an exceptionally fun experience. It's not. It's extremely difficult without a doubt. 
uh, the most difficult of all creations that I can see or have seen. And Gaia and Earth during the 3D, 4D, 5D process is the most difficult of the most difficult of the games, without a doubt. But everybody who came to play this game knew that that was the way it was before we came, kind of like that person getting ready to um, go up Mount Everest. Okay, they already knew that before we, we all came. We already knew it was going to be like that. Part of the reason for the, a big part of the reason, for the amnesia. So you get here, you're in amnesia, you don't remember the perfection that you came from. So now you can have this experience and you can find um, fun times and happiness and joy in uh, things that wouldn't necessarily draw you or you might not find joy in it if you could remember where you came from. Which is part of the reason why the star seeds who only have partial amnesia have a lot more trouble here finding happiness is because they instinctually uh, where someone that's in total amnesia finds joy and happiness in day-to-day -day life a star seed with partial amnesia feels uncomfortable and that things are wrong even on the best of days and that's a part of that is because they have that partial amnesia instead of all of the amnesia. So they're instinctually comparing to what perfect and wonderful is, you see. So there's a disadvantages to being partial amnesia. If you're in total amnesia, then you've just got, what are you going to compare it with? You're going to compare it with yesterday. So if you if the, the sun is shining and you have a job and, and you're paying the bills and you're going on vacation next week, and last year you didn't have a job and the weather was bad and you couldn't even afford a vacation, then you can have a happier day today. If you're in partial amnesia, then even this wonderful week that I described, it's off because you're comparing it with an instinctual knowing of that perfection that you came from. So what I'm here to do is to try to help uh, star seeds that are in that partial amnesia to understand why they're sad when it makes no sense that they're sad they're looking around and all these other people are saying why are you sad you shouldn't be sad you're look at last year and this year you're you're doing so well you should be happy you should be in a good mood so i'm here to explain to star seeds why they're still sad when they should they feel like society and those around them are saying you know you should be happy you should be happy and i'm here to explain why you're not and how you could get through that anyway. That you can still can be happier and happier even if you have that knowingness that is throwing things out of whack. Now, uh, what what I've heard all of my life that, that I finally um, just said, no, nope, I'm going to call bullshit on this, is I've heard people tell me anyway, well, I don't care. Um, you're just being ridiculous and you should be happy anyway. Well... You know, I've talked to you guys about wanting to jump out of an airplane. Now, I want to jump out of an airplane and free drive, not for the adrenaline rush that maybe a lot of people have for it. I want to jump out of an airplane because one of my favorite things on the other side to do it in the other creations that I am normally at is I fly. Fly everywhere. Very, 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 very seldom um, do I do physicality. And when I do do physicality, even in physicality, I fly. So I've got a handful of experiences where I was walking on the ground. So I really miss flying. So I want to jump out of an airplane to fly. Well, for, um, as an analogy, to expect a, um, a starseed that's in partial amnesia that's that, that knowingness that remembering of what they're comparing a good day with um to expect them to just blow that off and off and, and have a good day anyway is like me saying to you um i don't care if you don't want to jump out of an airplane i don't care if that's scary to you i don't care if you don't want to do it i insist that you come with me jump out of the airplane and have a good time <laughs> that's what that's like. That's what you're saying to a star seed that you say, no, you need to be happy and enjoy it here anyway. They cannot 
uh, those of us that, and I've got no amnesia, well, no, I still have some amnesia around myself and those directly around me, but I have very little amnesia. So um, for me, this is like, um, well, here's heaven and here's hell, and I'm supposed to sit in hell and say to myself, this is heaven. And I simply cannot do that. But I certainly can go moment to moment in hell and say, this is a better moment than that was. And that's what I'm trying to help you guys do. But for those of you who, who are totally in am amnesia, uh, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is that there's an instinctually knowing, there's an instinctual knowingness by a star seed that things are, are wrong that they don't feel good, it doesn't feel right. And it's not about a specific circumstance or anything in particular. It is the way everything is set up here that just feels wrong. It feels uncomfortable, it feels sad. It just feels wrong. So we can't just play like, you can't go to a star seed and just say, oh, well, you just, just don't, just ignore that part of you. Uh, because they are impartial amnesia, they don't even know why they are sad or uncomfortable. So that's why I come in here to say, this is why you're sad and uncomfortable. And that's okay. That's okay. You knew that you were going to be sad and uncomfortable when you came here to do this job. You came here to stand on the planet and help in this situation. And you came to help in other ways as you wish, depending upon what you want to do when you're here. And so that's the reason why you're here. So that uncomfortableness makes sense. And that feeling of sadness and depression when everything around you, you should be happy. That's why you feel the way that you feel. And that's okay. That's okay. And for somebody who's in total amnesia, I would just like for y'all, I know it's hard because you're in total amnesia. But if you could just understand my words a little bit, that, that with the... the um, the analogy of the heaven and the hell that, you know, people do remember everything being imperfect on whatever level. I don't know. Everybody's got a different level of amnesia, but maybe you can understand that they can feel it and some of them know it. And so being here is a struggle. And, and I hope that y'all um, take a deep breath and try to understand a little bit. And I know you will because you're wonderful people and you will try to to uh, um, let the star seeds see through your eyes and the wonder and the joy and the happiness that you see in the world around you uh, because that's what you compare it with. You compare it with your day-to-day -day living and, and uh, we can learn from that and we can have a better time here on this planet by looking through the eyes of the people that are in total amnesia. And that's what we can learn and experience cool things by looking through each other's eyes all the time, moment to moment, day to day. But remember that um, for star seats who are uncomfortable, uh, we're getting much, much higher now. You should feel much relief. But I want you all to know that the new vibrations are here. But you still, uh, it's up to you whether or not to reach for them, to live in them, to experience them, and to let go of the old vibrations. You still have to choose to be happier and happier every day. You're, you've been in these other vibrations for a long time now, so you're going to have to reach for those new vibrations, experience them, consciously want to spend more time with those higher vibrations, and um, consciously not go to the lower ones. So what I want you to do is when you feel yourself getting sadder, have those ways remember that I've told you to get yourself out of those those lower vibrations and reach for happiness. And one of the ways that you can do that is to see the earth, see this time frame through the eyes of somebody that's in total amnesia. Okay? You can absolutely be around somebody. It's always, it's always more fun and happier to be around happy people anyway. And people are going to be more happy to be around you if you're happier. So reach for those higher vibrations of happiness, heading towards bliss and joy. And whenever you know that you can see yourself kind of remembering 
um, in some way, whether it's an innate knowingness of the perfection that you came from or just triggering some bad thing that's happened in your life or something that you've seen in the world around you. Remember that this is a game and it's an experience that the gods, we gods came to experience those lower vibrations. So it's all good and get yourself out of those lower vibrations as quickly as you can in whatever way that you can. But remember, those new vibrations aren't automatic. You do have to choose to feel them. So understand where you came from. Hopefully this will help you understand why you feel the way that you do, you star seeds. Take advantage of the people that are in full amnesia and the way they look at the world and how happy they are in it. And Try to see things through their eyes. The people who are in total amnesia try to understand the star seeds from their perspective as well. That there's this, this knowingness that they don't understand and that you don't feel. And that maybe just don't worry about it too much and just continue to be um, joyously, blissfully happy in the world that you're in. And uh, hopefully be, be kind and loving to them. Um, in their world, as we all know, um, we're trying to get away from judgment. So we don't want to judge people that are that are struggling in whatever way they're struggling. We just that's just an experience, and it's a part of what was agreed on. So those are trying to reach for. I think everybody I know is trying to be happier and happier. So whether or not you're in full amnesia and you find happiness in, uh, uh, I, I don't know, a, a better job or. Uh, uh, a new car or whatever, or if you're in partial amnesia and you find happiness in um, a birthday party where everybody's getting along, that's more a vibrational uh, relief, then whatever it is, then help each other find that happiness or, or find that uh, vibrational relief where you feel better um, building on each other's strengths. And, but understanding and uh, being gentle with each other on the things that you maybe don't have as much experience in or may not understand as well. So that's what we're heading towards, no matter if you're in 4D or 5D, is this, this is just good for humanity all the way around, is if we cut out this been 3D, 4D, 5D, I don't care where, wherever you are, this not judging each other, um, and helping each other, accepting other people's strengths where you're weak and sharing your strengths where somebody else might need your strengths in that understanding, then interacting with each other in that way, then we can just be better. I mean, it can't be that, that that's got to be a better position to be in. And why not? Isn't that what we all want? Isn't that all what we want to be is just happier that we want to be in around we want to be happier we want to be around love and be loved and be appreciated and that's what we're looking for and uh that can be done with just no judgment and like helping each other with our strengths and uh, allowing people to be weaker in the areas that they're weaker that we all have our issues right we all have our past we all have our dramas and traumas we all have our um, exciting, wonderful times. So let's try to all look for these new vibrations, these higher vibrations, reach for happier and happier. And uh, for those of you who want to go more into your higher self and your source connection, then a little less communication or allowing uh, the egoic thinking of collecting data and then preparing for the future. All right. Well, hopefully that this has been a good tape and that will help you guys and uh, that's it for this one and I'll talk to you later love you guys so much and uh, well bye now oh huge hugs <laughs>